Hi guys and welcome back to Crypto News. I am your host Crypto Chester and today we're here to break down the one and only Pepe. Okay, ranking is at its 24th out of every cryptocurrency in the world right now, which is obviously very, very bullish. We've seen a, a lot of nice price action over the last couple of weeks, couple of days here for Pepe. Um, and that's why I'm doing this video today to break this down for you guys. We're going to be looking at this from a uh, from a technical analysis perspective. We're going to go into depth, look at some new trades for this asset, and um, also look at potential price predictions of what we could see uh, for the next coming weeks and months or so. Okay, so without further ado, let's get straight into this video. If you guys could drop a little like, that'd be amazing. You, the market cap right now is currently 4.11 billion with a B. Okay, so pretty good. Okay, it's not too bad comparing it to um, other meme coins in the space. If we just go to um, go to the ranking here and uh, obviously just look at the Bitcoin uh, around that sort of 67.9 level here. You can see Pepe is actually ranked third out of every meme coin out there right now, which is very bullish. Okay, it's pretty good. On the, the, Over the last seven days, down around 6%. Uh, last 24 hours, down around 2.2%. Uh, pretty bad there. And over the last hour, down around 1%. Okay, so it's not been the best week for Pepe all in all, but... But I know I said at the start of the video that we've had a good few days. We've had a good few spikes over the last few days. But um, in terms of overall momentum, it's not been the best. But the last two, three weeks have been very, very, very clean and very nice for Pepe. And that's why it's now sat around a $4 billion market cap in comparison to what it was before. Sat around a, around a 3.2 and just hovering on that area for a long time. So let's get into the chart. Um, before we get into the chart, quickly, guys, I want to talk to you about a Pepe-based project, which we know they usually have pretty insane success here and it's basically this is a very very cool utility pepe have basically built pepe unchained layer 2 now this is a, a layer 2 based blockchain protocol that is built on ethereum pretty much the same as base chain here but it's specifically built for memes so now people are going to be able to build their meme coins on pepe unchained blockchain okay pretty goddamn bullish if you ask me now if you look at the pre-sale They've raised 22 point, nearly $22.3 million, okay? This is not a small project, guys. This is a big dog, okay? This is this is potentially going to be a blue chip, a big billion dollar, um, might even challenge Pepe, the actual, um, the actual coin itself, because this actually has its own utility and its own blockchain, which is super interesting. They're even going to have their own dedicated blockchain explorer, like SoulScan or like Etherscan, okay? We can look into wallets and all that good stuff. The reason they've done this is because creates lower transaction fees and higher volume. It's going to be 100 times faster than Ethereum, all right? So a super, super bullish project. Go check it out. Links are all in the description. Without further ado, let's get straight back into this lovely Pepe chart, lovely Pepe update. So this is what we were discussing, this upwards momentum from August, and we have seen it. it's, it's, it's been doing pretty well, okay? Obviously, we do have a giant falling wedge here, and the measure move for that falling wedge in terms of the breakout is something like this okay you, you basically take that you take that to the breakout zone which is likely here or even here for that retest and then you can see that um the end of the measure move will be up at around 25 percent okay we didn't get there we didn't quite get there just yet where she saw some resistance along the way which is absolutely fine after exploding in the price for um for, for quite a long time here it's three four days and then we've since as i said some really nice spikes recently it's only natural that we take a little bit of a dip okay which is fine we're still in a, still in a macro trend to the upside here from what we can see it's looking pretty good um for continuation of this market and uh, what i'm really looking out for and itching out for it right now is this level of support down here okay you can see we've got this upward sloping trend line to the upside here and you can see we've tested that once here twice here near enough tested it again here maybe not with that much conviction because uh, the momentum did not show okay momentum from this trend line is usually very bullish okay and we haven't seen any of that just yet so it's quite likely what is going to happen here in the next day or so is to come down tap this little bad boy say hello properly and then we see a nice big move to the upside here. Don't know how big the move is going to be. Six, seven, eight, nine, maybe even 10% up to the three day volume weighted average true range. But that would be um, the next point that I'm really looking out for here for Pepe. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm really, really intrigued to know. Now, if we don't actually hold that level for support, which 
Personally, for me, I think that's quite unlikely. Then there is going to be another setup that we can be taking advantage of, okay? And that is, basically, you can see what I've just drawn in there, this uh, resistance on the top side, and that support on this side that I was talking about there. That's created a, a, a rising wedge. Rising wedges, guys, they do tend to usually break to the downside. So if we are going to see a pullback coming into fruition here, there is going to be a measure move that will look actually something along the lines of this. And that will take us down to the Fibonacci 0 0.236, uh, which is another bullish level. Do you really want to be shorting this? I mean, it's a tricky short, guys, with, with the market, with how Bitcoin's behaving. It's kind of quite unlikely that it is going to get there, right? So it's it's one of those one of those shorts where if you are going to get involved with it, you've got to be super, super safe. You've got to stagger all your take profits at all of the relevant uh, potential bounce points here in terms of bullish momentum. As you can see, there's, there's so many here. Um, so that's that'd be the first thing. Now, the second thing, if you didn't want to get involved with this position and it was it is just a bit too scary for you, considering how bullish the market is trying to short this market is um, it's very, very ballsy. If you ask me <laughs> what I would be going for instead would actually just be a long bounce, okay? And it, the likelihood of this happening is a little bit less likely because the short position has to actually play out first. But I do see a lovely four-hour volume waste ATR band bounce here coming down, uh, if we do come down, because that lines up really nicely with, again, the top side of this falling wedge on the macro. You've got the Fibonacci 0 0.236 there as well, and it would be the completion of that measure move. So there is probably a clean 10% move there for Pepe as well. So just uh, take note, if we do get down there, super easy, nice. Um, nice bullish long. Now that is going to be it from me, guys. Make sure you go check out Pepe, uh, Pepe Unchained Layer Two. Definitely a project you guys don't want to miss out on. As I said, it's a pre-sale phase. You can get involved with Ethereum USDT card, and you can literally connect your wallet through uh, MetaMask uh, Wallet Connect. So that's Trust Wallet, and also Coinbase Wallet as well. So they're offering all different options for everyone to get involved in this project and make those gains. Okay, thank you ever so much for watching, guys. That's going to be it from me. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.